Oh my god. Luke. Oh, my name is Patricia. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, look, look at Naomi. She does not care. Makasi. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Today is our very, very first day of exploring around Yogyakarta, and we are starting off with the Malioboro Quarter or Jalan Malioboro. That's where we are right now. So let's just go and have a look around Jogja. First stop, Teras Malioboro Dua. Uh, we're gonna have a look. I think they have some food stands here, definitely some sort of a market situation. I can already see some stands selling clothes. So we're just gonna have a look around and see what we can find. So guys, there's definitely a different vibe going on here in Yogyakarta. Very laid back, definitely a lot more laid back than it is in places like Jakarta or even Bandung. And we made our way here just off Malioboro Street to Teras Malioboro. We're gonna go in and have a little bit of a look around. It seems to be a whole sort of open market that's selling a bunch of different stuff like batik clothing, tie-dye t-shirts, souvenirs, stuff like that. Let's go check it out. We're now inside of the Malioboro Terrace and uh, yeah. directly at the inside it sort of seems like it's just clothing and a few snacks here and there but I'm sure they also have uh, food stalls somewhere in the back I assume and it's a really narrow area with a lot of people hustling and bustling so very very interesting and definitely a cool spot to come to. This place is very fascinating and they're selling some really interesting stuff for sure. Pretty much everything you can think of is right here. Mainly clothing, lots of souvenirs, and uh, some very beautiful designs as well. So that was a quick little look inside of Terras Malioboro. And now we're headed back to the main street of Malioboro. <laughs> We're going to basically be exploring this area today, giving you guys our honest first impressions of what this city is like. And uh, so far, the impression is very good, very positive, super laid back, as I said already. People just seem to take life at a more slower pace, I guess you could say here. It's not like it's a, it's not a rural place, like there's a lot of people that live here. There's a lot going on pretty much all of the time but uh, people just like to take it easy. There's a lot of cafes, a lot of restaurants, a lot of sort of different ways for you to just kick back and relax. Oh, cool. Thank you. Celebration of dancing and music. Thank you. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of people on the street here in Malioboro that are trying to stop us and guide us into different places. So just be aware of that. It's not negative, you just have to really know how to sort of just be like, no thank you, tidak, just say tidak and uh, they'll leave you alone. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here today. And uh, Malioboro, Jalan Malioboro seems to be very, very focused on batik and stuff like that. So uh, it seems like every sort of third or fourth store is uh, for batik clothing which is really really cool and I do believe that Jogja has some special batik as well like every area in Indonesia has their own type of batik and uh, I believe Malioboro is the place to come if you're looking for uh, Jogja batik. <laughs> it's very true we saw a lot of designs in the terrace little shopping area there. But yeah guys let's go let's continue to explore Jogja. Tons of batik shops are lining all along Malioboro, Jalan Malioboro. It's really cool to see as well. We saw two guys sitting on the side of the street just casually playing a game of chess. And that will give you a little bit of an understanding or an idea into just how slow paced that this city could be. It's our first day here, so <clears throat> to be honest, we have no idea what to expect just yet. And we're gonna be in Jogjakarta for around one week so it's plenty of time to explore the city and uh, there's some really interesting modes of transport as well now Naomi and I there's no way in hell that we would ever even fit into one of these 
<clears throat> but they're everywhere. One and, of us uh, each. Huh? If we were to take them, we would have to take one each, I think, because we are, in terms of hips, too wide to yeah. fit in one uh, with the two of us. But this is a very, very interesting mode of transportation. And then you also have um, these, like, what are they called? Carriages? With, like, horse carriage? Oh, horse carriage, yeah, yeah. Horse, horse carriages all over, which is very cool to see because obviously you have the horses in the traffic and then it's sort of combined with the scooters and the cars. It's a very, very interesting sight uh, in your everyday life, I think. It's really cool. Yeah, Jogjakarta is a very unique city so far and the vibe we're getting is it gives off its own creative personality. It's also, I believe, one of the oldest cities in Java. So that adds a whole different level of charm to it as well, which is brilliant and uh, the vibes here are very very good as well Hi bye Wow chaos Wow I think they were a bicycle club of some sort is that what it looked like with the jerseys Indonesia never fails to uh, surprise us, that's for sure. Oh, it's golden hour golden right hour. now, look Careful at this. With the traffic. Oh. traffic is pretty hectic right now. Look, look at Naomi, she does not care. She just goes straight through. I'm gonna have to do it as well. <laughs> you have to put the hand up, yep. magic hand. <laughs> So at the moment, it seems like there's some sort of an event going on, um, which leads to this part of the street being accessible for vehicles. And this part being completely closed down, there's also, I don't know, there's a show somewhere. I don't know where the show is, maybe we're gonna have a look and find the stage, right? Hello! <laughs> So we, uh, that was absolute chaos. On Jalan Malioboro, there was live music, performances, dancers, so many people. And uh, pretty much instantly, just behind where the stage is, we found ourselves in a more like quiet environment and inside of a market of some sort. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, this here is the Pasar Sore from what I saw and I thought it would close at like 5 p.m. It's after 5 p.m. now, but it's still open. So why not have a look around? And uh, those dancer dancers had really, really nice costumes, very colorful, obviously traditional, beautiful dances. Uh, wow, we didn't expect to see something like this today. Absolutely mind-blowingly beautiful. Really uh, crazy first day, to be honest, like literally the first couple of hours actually that we've been walking around in Jogjakarta and it has left a forever lasting like positive impact 100% and uh, yeah this market is literally like a maze we've uh, walked in from the side of the street and then just came around and now don't know where we are but we're surrounded by different things that we could be looking at like Bakpia I think I saw Bakpia there and uh, yeah, more batik. There's batik everywhere. So if you are, if you are like a shopaholic, this is the place. Jogjakarta is the place. That's for sure. It's very interesting as well how quiet it is all of a sudden because the music on the street was so loud, and we entered here and like I think the uh, the clothes are acting as like a puffer system or something. <laughs> like we're like in an audio <laughs> chamber right now. It's very quiet in here. But the second we go back out there, it's like blasting music, but very beautiful music. Hello, Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> I understood Sekola. I thought it was something he said something with spoon, but I don't know. <laughs> so the sun is slowly setting over Jogjakarta and wow, what a beautiful sight to see. Just here, Jalan Malioboro, where the stage just was that we were. The sun is setting just over behind a couple of the buildings and it's providing beautiful light. Just have a look here. Yeah. 
It's gorgeous, no? Yeah, it's so beautiful with the golden hour right now. I'm posting all of the stories to Instagram <laughs> with the pictures of golden hour here. And uh, as well, a lot of people here are um, grilling, barbecuing uh, satay ayam. So chicken satays and uh, it's cool with all of the smoke in the air and the scents. It's very beautiful. Just here behind me now is the palace of Jogjakarta or the president's palace. And uh, the vibe now is sort of slowing down a bit up there on Malioboro the party is in full swing but here it's definitely a little bit more on the mellow side but uh, yeah Jogjakarta so far very impressed and uh, this area here that we're walking towards right now it really seems to be well spread out a lot of the architecture is getting more on the older side more colonial architecture and um, it's a very visually pleasing city, that's for sure. Like everything that you look at is like, I want to take a photo of it. So it's very, very good. Very beautiful. Uh, just up ahead now, there seem to be traditional guards. I don't know if they belong to the palace of the president, like if they're here uh, at all times or if it's just specifically for today for the <coughs> festival. But they look very nice and they have pointy sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we made our way now to Teras Malioboro Satu, which is the number one, and we found a huge sort of pasar malam just on the side of it, um, and we're currently looking for some food. Maybe we're gonna get inspired on what Jogja has to offer in terms of makanan, in terms of food around here. Mm -hmm. I can see that they have good egg. Good egg, yeah. In one of the bowls they have good egg, yeah. One of the must try ones. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hey, Hello. Good. Hello. Mantul. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Magnus. What is your name? Luke. 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 Yeah. Oh, my name is Patricia. Patricia? Yes. Patricia. Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. Where are you from? Oh, Germany. Irlandia. Wow. Oh my God, so beautiful. <laughs> Indonesia is beautiful. Oh, yeah. it's your country too. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Where do you think is the best place for food? For food in Prawiro Taman. Hmm? Prawiro Taman. Is that close by? Uh, Rumah makan soto. Soto. Soto, Soto. Pak Karno. Uh, yes. The food place is here. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Ini the German paling kecil. <laughs> I like it. Yes. Uh, thank you. I love your hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you. Very beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Yes, thank you so much. much. I like you. I. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get married. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you so much, Makasi. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Makasi, malam. Bye bye. Oh. I love your eyes. I like your, your hair. hair. I like your face. I'd never know what to answer. I'm just like so. I'm blushing. <laughs> Wow, there's so many uh, different food stalls to choose from here. Literally hundreds. And um, as I keep saying, the vibe is good in Jogja. Yeah, a lot of the food stands seem to, seem to be selling uh, some sort of satay. I don't know if it's like chicken or lamb or goat or I don't know. Um, but we can find out. Yep. This looks like a good egg satay. Can we... I don't know, how many do you want? You can like mix and match, like uh, maybe three each. I politica yam, then politica ini. Sepulu. Three? Sepulu. Oh, sepulu, sepulu. Uh, just ten, ten. No, oh, ten, ten. Uh, five, five? Five, five. Okay, yeah, five, five, then uh, lontong, satu. Thank you. Thank Okay, so we got a mix of things. We got five uh, satay ayam, so chicken satays, and we got 
five. I'm still not sure what it is. I assume it has something to do with a cow skin or something like that. And we also got a lontong uh, with some peanut sauce here with kacang sauce. And uh, to be honest, I'm looking forward the most to the lontong. It's one of my favorite things since we came to Indonesia. Mm. Oh yeah, this is very nice, very nice lontong. Mm. And the, the chili, the peanut sauce seems to be mixed with um, some sort of chili. So it's quite, it's like on the spicy end of life. A little bit sweet and the rest is peanutty. And uh, should I go in and try the chicken first or the unidentified object? Maybe try the chicken, yeah. Chicken. <laughs> this is very nice, very nice. Absolutely amazing. Now on to the unidentified object. No clue what it is. Really? It's tasty, it's kind of sweet. It looks like uh, the sweet cow skin that we Little had gelatinous. on the Nazi Gudeg before. Yeah, maybe, maybe similar. I think, I think it might be that it's like gelatinous a little bit sweet. Uh, you have obviously the like uh, charred type of flavors in there. Do you want to give the unidentified object a try? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay, guys. Whatever this is, let's see. Mm. Very juicy, gelatinous, interesting texture, but very delicious. I think it's cow skin. I'm gonna guess. Let us know down Maybe. below in the comments. It might as well be cow knee or something like that, mm -hmm. like what I, what we had in the Nasi Padang place in Jakarta. It might be something like that as well, something That's joint, cow joint. Also possible. <laughs> I'll try the satay ayam as well, the chicken. Oh, satay ayam is the... Uh, the winner 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 chicken i am dinner <laughs> chicken. winner winner chicken satay dinner <laughs> I, i'm trying tongue. to give you a long tongue with the sauce the sauce is very nice oh beautiful let's give it a try here looks interesting long tongue my mm. favorite heaven the peanut sauce is delicious it's like, um, it's not too thick, it's not too rich, it's not like uh, peanut butter. Like we had uh, gado gado when we were in Jakarta. And um, that was a much richer, thicker, almost like a peanut butter consistency on that one. We went to gado gado boplo uh, <laughs> near Tamarind City. But um, this one is a little bit more thinner, but more flavorful and it matches with that meat it's really really good i think it might be pre-mixed with some sort of a sambal like a fruity spicy sambal in there as well so and i think that's why it's like a little bit thinner because obviously you if you add like vinegar and chili sauce and whatever it, it gets a little thinner but uh yeah i'm in love with this i could spend the night here i think some part of it went on the floor <laughs> We just came out of the market after that absolutely amazing food so so good still no idea what it was but it was very tasty and we came out here and there was a big big celebration on the street everybody was dancing it was sort of like a line dance type of situation but indonesian line dance if you want to say it like that and it's so beautiful the people here are so warm so open-minded open-hearted just welcoming and uh, yeah if you're looking at visiting java or jogja just go for it nothing is stopping you this is beautiful Epic scenes, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> That's where the ladies I just danced with. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. So this is the the current scenes on Malioboro Street. Wow. We're gonna join the picture now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Yeah? Yeah? Okay, we're gonna go to the front. Thank you. 